Hello everyone, Cryoros here and welcome to Endzone World Apart. So what is Endzone World Apart? It is actually a post-apocalyptic city builder slash manager, which is, as it says, still in early access, so mind the radioactive giant bugs everywhere they can be found. And basically world has gone to crap and we are the survivors after several 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 decades spending underground we have come on top and we have to rebuild so let's just start normally for either an uh, interrelated tutorial that teaches you all the important aspects of the game or become Familiar with certain parts of the game in brief segments. Let's play that. Let's let's play the tutorials first. I'm glad we prepared ourselves well for this kind of scenario, especially since our inventories in the end zone ran low. Don't forget that if you need additional information, you can look at our. Uh, just a second. Need to put his voices a little bit higher, or... Oh, yeah, it's an RTS. Survival guide at any time. Nice. Let's do it. Okay, open the survival guides. Okay, and immediately... Well Get done. Everything you need to know should be right here. I think the time oh, has people. come for us to at last build ourselves a new home here. Okay. Before we can construct buildings at all, we have to assign the profession builder to several settlers so that they can take care of construction contracts. In general, it's your responsibility to decide which tasks are important oh, okay. and how our settlers are supposed to be distributed to attend to them. Do uh, do they have Okay. Ah, here. Okay, confidence. Okay, those are aspects. Education. Ah. Handling clothes. Inventory. Family. Okay. Open the profession. Oh, okay, I... Oh, okay, I just need to assign that. Okay, they don't have any values. Uh, let's get two builders. Oh, three. Okay. I would have gone with two because we only have ten people, but... Uh, well, three builders. All right. Your builders will be ready as soon as construction contracts have been issued. It... The first thing we ought to do is to establish a working water supply. So we'll move on to our first construction contract. Place and build a jetty by a lake in the vicinity of your town center. Okay. A jetty. Oh, okay, it's grid based. Okay. Uh, do I... Ah, okay. Yes, construction. Uh, help? What did I do? Okay. Okay. You guys are doing... Okay, I can... Ah! 
Why are very good. The jetty was completed as planned. Now we have a place where we can collect water. Okay. There good. are other possibilities to gather water too. We can obtain and store water from different sources, like a jetty, rain collector, or well in the cistern. The cistern should always be in close proximity to a water source so that our water carriers don't have to walk too far. All right. Good, good, good. Uh, build a cistern. Okay. That is not that. That is the building menu. Ah, okay. So, building it here would be completely bad. Um... Looks cool. Let's put it... Put it down here. And we need three water carriers. Okay. Okay, we need more scrap. Okay, you bought that. Cool. Water produced, water source that. Oh, I can, okay, can change that. Ooh, what are you? A stag. Okay, and... Great. Ah. We have now installed a working water supply, and water is now transported from the jetty to our cistern. Consider higher. Now we should focus on food production. Yes, it's it's important food. to ensure the supply right from the start. A gatherer's cabin, a hunting lodge, or a fishing hut can directly remedy the situation. I suggest starting with a fishing hut, since we're okay. Ah, nice. B opens the building menu. Ah, nice. That is good. Okay, fishing huts. Um. Ah. Let's build it over here. Oh, radiation. Okay. It's moist. Location attractiveness neutral. Construction. Okay, so that those are that. Hey, I don't have that many settlers left. Okay. How much stuff do I have? I have lots of water. Expand our population. Good work. We've now taken care of our basic supply via food and water. Make sure that you have enough food and water on hand at all times, especially if you want to upgrade your settlement. A population that grows too fast can quickly unbalance your food and water supply. Yeah, that will major just difficulties for you if you implode don't on ourselves. Got that from Rimworld. Crops are another excellent way of getting food, because they constantly grow as long as the soil is moist enough. Each seed has different Moist. yields and growing times. 
This means that it could take some time until your field is ready to be harvested. In contrast to your fishing hut, where production can be right away. Hmm. Okay. Wait, now it's dry? What? Wasn't it wet a little while ago? Oh, weather. All oh, right, I forgot we currently have no rain, so it's not moist. Okay. Uh, cultivation fields. Um... Oh. That is a problem. get it okay a 10 by that should be okay with only one farmer are you kidding me yeah we have more than enough water can you remove one there don't need that many builders. I can get two farmers. I can communicate with the stags. Okay. We got no farmerinos. Oh, two seed. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Your stomach is responding to me. Good. I'm making hungry people hungry by speaking to the uh, stags. Let's start. Cabbage corn. Looks good. Remember that we need the widest variety of food sources to stay healthy. You should also plan ahead for drought periods that might come when it's not going to rain. Stock up on food and adapt your production to avoid bottlenecks. I'll okay. At the beginning, we don't have much scrap, wood, or other resources. We could build a production building, but to obtain resources as fast as possible, it's best that we start gathering right away. Mm -hmm. Assign a gather all resources task. All the settlers who haven't been assigned any profession by you are going to accept these kinds of tasks. In addition, settlers distribute resources within your settlement. Oh, cool. Okay. Good. Okay, gather scrap and gather... Building and tasks. Oh! Okay. So, if I say gather wood and scrap in this area... And scrap should be probably collected. Here. Cool, cool, cool. 
Yep, we're going full orc, which is I I, I really like the uh, the style they have. Like they are making use of the best they have available. I kind of feel like this is what Fallout's what Fallout's uh, settlement builders should have been. Since we now own plenty of resources, we can start to build a real production building. Then you don't have to always make efforts by hand that collecting is taking place. Production buildings are not only easier to manage, they are also distinctly more effective than simple tasks. Don't place production buildings too far away from your settlement. You'll be able to change their working area at any time later on. Okay. Right on. The best thing for us to do now is to build a forester's lodge to automate our supply of wood and make it more effective at the same time. Oh. Foresters are not only able to chop down trees, they reforest areas with trees as well. Okay, so unlike Age of Empires, for example, you replenish the wood. You know, kind of kind of Walker of Three Night Elves. Where you have the wisps uh, gather wood from the trees and just leave them intact. Okay, I like this. I like it. Uh, resources, foresters, lodge. Oh, okay. Let's build it over here. Professions, Forester. And I've set up auto-saving every 15 minutes, so... That is a nice feature. Okay. Can I... I'm... I can't do this right now. Okay. It's not my instincts tell me build housing. Nice. Ah, it's moist. No. Oh, but it's changing. You can see the... Oh. Okay. Oh, that is neat. Oh, that is cool. And we removed the radiation from here somehow. Okay. Okay, we got a drought incoming. Why? Uh, why is nobody doing this? Cabbage. Oh, cabbage corp is starting out. Okay. Let's speed up a little bit. Are you building? Okay, maybe, maybe I need three, three of you. Cool. Uh... Music is also nice, very subtle. Not overbearing. <laughs> Bore. Did you know that our pigs only look like like they do because they are with us? If you set out a little 
domesticated pig in the wild. You might want to change it doesn't take long for them to look like to a normal wild pig. Should get their wood from. Ah, and for your information, if you want, you can also tell your forester's lodge that they only ought to attend to reforesting an area in order to create a lush green forest which generations to come can use. Very good. Now we ought to take care of color. Okay, let's check this down. Cut down and reforest. Okay. Oh. 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 I like. Can I? I can't make it smaller. Okay. Okay, build a scrapyard and I think we'll do that here. Moist. Don't tell me we can replant the scrap for use for future generations. <laughs> that would be a little bit counterproductive. Great. You can change the working area for the scrapyard too. We can recycle scrap into four additional resources. Cloth, metal, Plastic. Okay. Our people want a place to sleep and live. Cabins fulfill their need for safety and privacy and increase the confidence of their inhabitants. In other words, building cabins increases their willingness to start families and <laughs> reproduce, if you know what I mean. One plus one equals many! That's math in nature. Okay, so let's start. Let's start here. Put a set of four here. And a set of four here. I'm I'm still in the habit of um, Creeper World, where I uh, hit X to cancel all the time. All the time. <laughs> we could be full on orcs if we have device to pull scrap out of space. Okay. Nice though. Douglas and Nian. Wait. I no longer have kids? Oh. Time flies. Are oh, those. Ha. Huh. Okay. Incoming draught, okay. Ah, there, okay.
Okay, but that also means I, uh, if I go here... I can assign more to that. Cool. That is... Okay, uh, if that is the case, I might want to increase my farmers. Go for another field. Um. This is ten by eight. Yeah, no, ten by seven. Okay, that is marked for removing. Okay, choose the seed uh, of the root. Oh, and I need to. Ooh, I like this. I like this even more. Time is coming up. Besides cabins, you can also provide sturdy houses and shelters as housing. Sturdy houses withstand sandstorms better and have an increased storage capacity to boot. Children living in houses gradually fill up the house's stockpiles. Settlers do not reproduce in a shelter because they lack privacy. Yeah. Let's return from our excursion into housing and refocus on scrap. With the help of a recycler or refinery, scrap can be sorted into four different resources. A recycler always takes scrap apart, one resource at a time, while a refinery automatically produces all four resources. To start off, you should build a recycler and produce cloth. Okay. Do this. Okay, I have enough of you, okay. Uh the bomb refiner. Oh I can just click there. Ooh. I don't have oh I need to build the building first. Okay. Recycler. I don't want to have it near Let's build it over here Okay um. Can I this okay 
Okay. I would love it if you guys would... Oh, thank you. Sadly, I can't tell them what to do. Okay, we have three different foods. Someone, please. Oh, yes, finally. Oh. Okay. That is built. Cloth, okay. I gotta say, controls are very intuitive. Like that. Okay, auto saving. It's fine. Shouldn't you then be a... Okay, well I will probably learn about badges later. Ah! Okay, he is now producing. Oh, she, Annabelle. Okay. You can instruct your recycler to produce a different resource at a time. It's important. Happy settlers are industrious settlers. That's why we ought to look after our people and protect them against the surroundings and dangers, like radiation. So, let's start by transforming our newly recovered cloth into protective clothing. A tailor will be able to help us with that. Okay, build a tailor. Nice. Okay, so by clearing out... The scrap. Oh my god, there is so much on this map. This is just a tutorial map. But by clearing out the scrap, we eliminated radiation. That's cool. Okay, professionals. Professionals, no. Build task, tailor. Uh, build it there. I need to remember. Right click.
Oh. Priorities for builders. down to 50. Okay, that's a draw. Okay. <gasps> we categorize environmental radiation into four levels. No radiation, low level, medium level, and high level radiation. The radiation changes constantly and is influenced by weather and contaminated rain. Protective clothing helps to protect us against this kind of radiation, but it takes a while before it's produced and production relies on a steady flow of incoming resources. Try to establish production chains at an early stage and start to stockpile goods so that some are always on hand. <laughs> yeah, I thought with the lake I was safe. <laughs> the lake is a lie. <laughs> oh my god, okay. <laughs> the tools we brought along from the end zone are slowly but surely running out. So now, let's focus on manufacturing new tools. The tools will help us to work effectively. We'll need metal for that, so we'll prepare for production by building another recycler, which we'll commission to recover metal from scrap. After that, we'll need a workshop to enable the manufacturing of brand new tools. Wait, I can just put them down. Like this. Oh, and they will... Oh my... Oh god. But I can't tell them to... Okay. Is there a indicator to when water will come back? Yet here we stand. What what is that? What was that achievement? Survive your first draw. I guess that settles the question. I has water. The lake the lake dried out. Ha, hi. Population. <laughs> <laughs> 